Now, we continue to subtopic 3.2, estimating a multiple regression. In the case of multiple linear regression model, we have beta 1, beta 2, up to beta k, coefficients or also known as parameters for the multiple linear regression model. In general, the econometric model for multiple linear regression is given by this model. Therefore, the corresponding fitted econometric model for multiple linear regression <coughs> is given by this model, where y hat here is the estimated dependence variable, b1 is the estimated y-intercept, b2, b3, up to bk. <coughs> are the estimated parameters of beta 2, beta 3, up to beta k respectively, and x2, x3, up to xk, are independent variables. The least square principles is used in estimating all the values of b1, b2, up to to B3 as applied in simple linear regression model. Since the manual calculation to get the estimated parameters is quite complex and complicated, so it is recommended for us to use software. And in this course, we will use Microsoft Excel. Let's look at example 3.2. This example gives us the data for example 3.1. The data of Adam's burger for its 20 outlets is as shown below, where sales represents monthly sales revenue in the outlet. Price represents the average price for all products in the outlet. And at word here, represents monthly advertising expenditure for the outlet. Note that the unit used for data of sales okay, and data for advertising is in RM100. Remember that in example 3.1, the economic theory that we construct for the study is the average sales revenue is linearly related to price and advertising expenditure. <coughs> Where the economic model is as shown here. And the econometric model for the study is given by this model. For this model, beta 1 is the value of the independence variable when each of the independence variables takes the value of 0. However, in many cases, <coughs> this parameter has no clear economic interpretation. Beta 2 is the change in monthly sales in RM. 100 when the price is increased or decreased by one unit in rm1 and advertising expenditure is held constant increase or decrease here is depends on the estimated b2 <coughs> if estimated b2 is positive so we will use increase if estimated B2 is negative, so we will use decrease. Okay, and for this part, okay, 
other variable other than x2, we should put as constant. For this case, okay, uh, the other independence variable for this study that is x3, that is advertising expenditure. Okay, so now we go to beta 3. Beta 3 is the change in monthly sales in RM100. When advertising expenditure is increased or decreased by one unit in RM100 and the price is held constant. So the same as uh, this, the same as interpreted as beta 2, okay, increase or decrease here depends on the estimated value of B3. If B3 given is if the B3 value given is positive, so we should use increase here. If the beta 3 value is the negative, so we should use decrease here. Okay, and for this case, okay, other variable um, <clears throat> except X3, in this case, that is the price. So, the price here should be held constant. So, the fitted econometric MLR model for the study is given by this model. This is the statistical analysis for multiple linear regression using Microsoft Excel. As for simple linear model, there are three parts of table that are regression statistics, ANOVA table, and the coefficient table. In the coefficient table, we can obtain the coefficient value for estimated parameters <coughs> for the fitted model that are B1. We can get from this part, from this value. Okay, B1, B2 is from this value, and B3 is given by this value. <coughs> So, based on the value given in the coefficient table, so we can construct the fitted econometric multiple linear regression model for the data is given by this model. Okay. In interpreting the estimates, okay, we uh, since we have three <coughs> param three parameters here, so we have three estimated parameters that are B one, B two, and B three. Okay, this is B one, this is B two. And this is B3. Okay. B1 value that is 101.5358. Okay. If we take at 4 decimal places. So based on this value, we can interpret that if both price and advertising expenditure were 0. Price here is X2. Advertising expenditure is X3. Okay, remember that we have X uh, independence variable that are X2 and X3. The sales revenue, sales revenue here, okay, that is Y here will be RM 10,153.5. 8. Clearly, this outcome is not possible since a zero price should be implies zero sales revenue. 
In this model, as in many others, it is important to recognize that the model is an approximation to reality in the region for which we have data. And intercept actually improve. Intercept here, that is B1, actually just improve this approximation when it is not directly interpretable. That's why, as mentioned earlier, beta 1 or its corresponding estimated B1 has no clear economic interpretation. So now we go to B2. The B2 value given here that is minus 5.9527. So to interpret this value with other x variables a uh, help constant or in this case the other variable of x2 is advertising so with advertising help constant okay is waiting is x3 and increase in price of rm1 will lead to a fall in monthly revenue of rm 595.27 fall here because of the value of b2 is negative so that's why we uh, <clears throat> we use fall or we also can use decrease or we also can interpret this a reduction in price of rm1 will lead to an increase in revenue of rm 595.27 so now we go to B3. Okay, the B3 value that is 5.1640. With other variables are held constant, or in this case, the other variable of X3 is the price of product that is X2. So with price held constant and increase in advertising expenditure of RM. 100 will lead to an increase in sales revenue of RM 516.40. Increase here because the value of B3 is positive. So, this interpretation can be used whether an increase in advertising will increase profit. And this statement... Okay, or oh, in this uh, this interpretation, we'll investigate a uh, letter in hypothesis testing part. Here is the simple notes for elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand, which denoted by E D is defined as the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price and not that the value of ed is always negative this info will be used when there is negative value of coefficient in the fitted econometric model as given by b2 in this model you can see that the value of b2 here is negative so that's why the negative coefficient on price here suggests that demand is price elastic. Okay, so that we can say the strategy of price reduction through the offering of specials would be sus would be successful in increasing sales revenue. However, before we apply this strategy the management should conduct the corresponding hypothesis testing first which will be discussed in details in the next subtopic that's all for topic 3.2 see you in the next topic